Yo, what's up, guys? Not quite. I be hitting niggas with the dot dot dot. Can we kick it when you back home? Dot dot dot. All right, that's better. I got the key light and the backlight. We're good to go. What's up, guys? My name's Ryan, and I am a content creator on YouTube. I make videos on my content creation. I hope to make more YouTube videos. I know this is the first video in a while, but uh, for now, it's just tutorial videos. I do hope to make more BTS videos, more vlogs, more. I might start posting more of my work on here. To get things started, I'll post this tutorial video. And from the title, you probably guessed it's like how I make my magazine layout kind of things, how I get that textures of dust and scratches and those paper overlays, making it look all old school. And someone actually asked me about this and I learned everything I learned how to do everything on YouTube or like on online, not necessarily not necessarily YouTube, although most of it was on YouTube, but what makes this tutorial video a little bit different is I compiled all those tutorials together and hopefully this video answers all your questions instead of just one of them. So let's just get started on the computer. All right, now we're in Photoshop. That's where I do all of uh, these kind of layouts in. And if you want to do a layout for Instagram, I suggest 1080 by 1350 pixels. Uh, I do 300, 8 bit RGB color space. But if you want it to for like a traditional magazine layout, which was what I did for my collection uh, magazine, then do print uh, 8 by 5, 8.5 by 11 inches. But I'm just gonna go with this for this tutorial video. Just to level with you guys here, for this tutorial, I won't be making like a dope ass edit. That's not my intention. My intention are just to show you the techniques. Uh, I'm not gonna be going over like design theory or what I think looks good. Uh, really, I just do whatever and there are like a number of inspirations online that I draw from, but I won't be going over those today. I'll just be putting like random pictures in random spots using the techniques that I use. Anyways, I prepared these pictures for this tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna use this picture, use this picture, use this picture. And then I'm just gonna drag them here to Photoshop. I held down shift to select all these and I'm just gonna resize them. And then reformat it just a little bit. Not to make it look good or anything, but just to resize it a little bit. And if you want to get like a super into it, super like organized with your uh, layout and stuff, you can um, go to view and then you want to show your rulers. And my rulers are already showing uh, right here. And you can click and drag and you can set ruler points so the uh, snap more easily, I guess. And you can like divide it up by three and um, whoops divided by three and stuff and make it look good but uh yeah and you can drag them out just to make them disappear and the first thing i want to go over is making a background using the elements in the pictures themselves uh lately i've been using like more text based but uh for this there aren't there's no text or anything so Control shift n to make a new layer drag it underneath all the pictures and then go to your selection tool right here the rectangular one and I'm gonna make a pattern out of her eyes so select around her eyes I'm gonna make sure you have no feather um, over here and then you go to edit define pattern but you're gonna go to layer a uh, new fill layer pattern okay and then your pattern should load. And boom, you got this funky looking background using elements from the pictures themselves. And then, um, yeah, you can select everything and you can go to your selection tool. I think you have to rasterize this. Uh, so just right click rasterize layer and then you can do some funky edits with the background. You can. Um, make a selection out of here and then press command T and like hold shift and then like drag it out a bit, stretch it out. And then uh, you 
could make more selections and do Command T and then right click and do warp or something like that. And then just really go for some funky looking designs over here. Like I said, I'm not going for anything that looks good or anything. If you think this looks good, good for you, man. So yeah, we're done with the background stuff. And the next thing I do with these kind of layouts is I usually create like a title. Uh, I'm just gonna call this the model's name, Kylie. Her Instagram handle should pop up on the screen right now. I'm just gonna put it on top and then uh, go to selection, rotate this negative 90 degrees. I'm not, like I said, I'm not making this uh, try to look good or anything, but just a little effort, just a little bit. And um, the next thing I want to go over, which I kind of just went over without talking about it, is the layer style. So if you double click on the layer, it should pop up, and then you can just mess around with these. Uh, this isn't a text tutorial or anything, so I'm not going to be going over some unique text uh, that I do, but just mess around with it. You know, you can go to drop shadow and then mess with the blending mode. I think that looks pretty cool. And go to stroke, uh, add like this white, and you size it up or whatever. And yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, just play around with it, you know. Okay, so now that we're done with the text, I'm just gonna go over a little bit of how you can uniquely incorporate some of their pictures into the magazine layout, whatever, this collage layout. So I'm just gonna copy that face right here. I messed up, I'm gonna add some feather to it actually. So Command D to deselect and make a new selection from this layer, from this picture right here. So I'm gonna press Command J to kind of um, duplicate it. Not kind of, it is duplicating it. But then I'm gonna go to the background layer make selection and then just delete it sorry this is not cooperating there so you can see a little bit of feather that makes it a little bit interesting and I'm gonna go back to the duplicated layer and put that there so yeah kind of like blends in a little bit better uh, you can kind of stretch that out if you want. And yeah, just play with the feathering uh, when you're selecting stuff. It doesn't have to be this square selection tool. I actually like to use the polygon or quick select, whatever. Uh, I know some people use the pen tool. I don't really mess with that. But yeah, so now we're done uh, with this feathering technique, I guess. So now I'm gonna go over this way you can incorporate your pictures in another unique style that's not feathering. Uh, so I'm gonna first create a new layer, Control Shift N, and then I'm gonna go to Brush. And I downloaded these brushes online, they're all free. I can distribute them myself, so you're gonna have to search for them. Uh, I, to be honest, I forgot where I got most of these, so I can't help most of you out unless like hundred of you comment down where you got this brush at then I'll look for it but uh, just search like unique brushes online and all of these are free so I'm just gonna brush a little bit right here just to this is a unique uh, texture right here so it kind of looks like a chalk whatever and then you can go to that picture that I painted over in this empty layer and I'm gonna go to the top and I'm going to hold down Alt or Option, whatever, and then press here. So it actively takes up the space if the picture is covering it. You know what I mean? So if I press Command T on the picture, I can uh, drag it out, and it's only constrained to where we painted. So it can make for some unique um, layouts. Okay, so the next thing I want to go over is the torn paper look. So I'm gonna use my eraser tool uh, and start 
erasing the picture, the middle one. So I'm on the middle layer, and yeah, you can do that, do that, and you can do the edges if you want. I'm not for this tutorial, and then you can do Control Shift N for a new layer, and then go to the bottom here, and then go to brushes, and then uh, this layer has to be beneath this one, the one that you just uh, erased out of, and then. Like I said, these brushes aren't mine. I will link the tutorial where I found this brush um, in the description below. Only because I know where that one is. And you can look at this tutorial if you want. Um, probably explains it better than me. But I'm just going to go over it really quickly. And you can just paint on the edges. Uh, I'm just going to do it really quickly. And like lately I've even not been using these uh, torn edges look, but I've been also using the pen tool and using shape and fill as white and I've been making like these really straight edges which like kind of mimics like a scissor kind of look. So it might look better in some cases, uh, it might not, but uh, I need to merge this down actually. So to make it look a bit more realistic, you can add some, go to layer style so you can double click and drop shadow. You obviously don't want green, go black, uh, go to like 40 and then go to multiply Turn this down, turn this down. Everything looks fine. And you should do it here too. Crop shadow. The key is subtlety, so yeah, I think it looks better. Uh, like, I, like I said, <laughs> I'm going over this really quickly, so it doesn't look the best. If you spend some time on it, I guarantee you it'll look good. The next thing we're going to go over is how to add that really old school look from magazines, which is making a new layer first and then Control shift alt e and that basically creates a layer out of everything you just made below so this is the layer that you just made uh, the reason why we have to do that is because if we don't do that and it's an empty layer and we go to filter noise add noise there's no selection because it's empty and if you go to the bottom layer it'll just apply the noise to the text uh, Kylie so we have to do control shift alt e and then go to filter, add noise, and I usually do Gaussian. I mean, you can mess around with whatever, but I do Gaussian. And again, subtlety, or sometimes you wanna go crazy, but 5.35 for this one, I guess. And yeah, that looks a lot better before and after. And then, the next thing we want to do is we want to add some texture to it. So uh, you can find these crumpled paper overlays online. Just search crumpled paper overlay, and then I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. Uh, I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees, move it, and then set the blending mode to uh, multiply. Yeah that's before and after and you might notice that it made it a lot darker even though it made the texture a little bit more interesting uh, so we have to go to adjustments and then go to the curves and then usually I like to raise my blacks quite a bit because it makes it that even like more uh, real life kind of look not digital um, not necessarily film but it's just more like you're looking at a piece of paper instead of looking at it through the computer kind of thing or looking at a picture of a picture instead of an actual picture on the computer 
hope that makes sense but I just raised the midtones a bit as well just to raise the overall exposure and then I deepened the shadows again just to add some of that contrast back so before and after just to add some of that brightness back in uh, and then the next thing we're gonna go over is uh, how to add some of more unique like dust overlay uh, so you can just search dust overlay online overlay texture whatever like I said I can not distribute these uh, but you basically copy them paste and then go to overlay not overlays that looks terrible uh, go to screen and you should be able to not see a screen if the overlay is good if the overlay is bad you might have to add uh, adjustments like a curve adjustments to make it a bit darker but in this case I sized it down so the ed if the overlay is bad you can see the edge here but I can't see the edge so I think it's pretty good uh, you want to create a layer mask and then go to brush and then you can brush over the dust that you don't want uh, for some people it's like subtlety so you can see these dust specks over here but those were too big and if you want to keep it subtle you can do that uh, but yeah I think that's pretty much it so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial like I said I wasn't trying to make anything look good or anything I know that's an excuse but hopefully these design tips and tricks or whatever can help you guys out I think this is a really cool way to present your photos if there's anything I've done in my work before that you're interested in uh, let me know especially with this kind of stuff if I didn't cover it but if there's anything I didn't cover and you know something definitely leave it in the comments down below this is a community about growing and learning and yeah you can always get better if there's anything else you guys want me to make a tutorial on that I've done in the past let me know in the comments down below DM me whatever peace if you talking about self-love I could be that brown sugar hot water chamomile tea bag road trip out to the Ventura beach house when I think about it then I guess it I could see how Everybody think on Hollywood. I can see it. How everybody think on Hollywood. I don't want no problems.